It me, da doom. Welcome to the hall. Back, we're gamers, to another King Bonsai unboxing. And in true King Bonsai fashion, the miniatures fell off the box before I could unbox them. <laughs> so, yeah, here are the Nazgul of Dolgador, which is quite topical right now since these guys were just released. And yeah, so I'll be painting these up for my brother who got them. And yeah, so these are quite cool models. We have the Slayer of Men. It was quite a cool model indeed. I'll release Agent on these. And the Witch King. Which I really like the uh, the helmet of the Witch King. Quite skinny and narrow though, but really cool, cool looking. Especially from like this angle. Yeah, great cloaks. And then the Dark Headsman. And I think the Dark Headsman is probably my favorite. Just absolutely amazing. So yeah, we also have the arms here. We have three bases as well, but those are uninteresting, really. But yeah, I throw have three arms, which have that cool large gauntlet design, but that's because these blades are supposed to be large. Then we have the weapons. Big axe. Big mace and pretty big sword too. Excellent crisp detail. And they shouldn't be snapping and they're not really bent. The sword's bent a bit, but Nothing a uh, hair dryer won't solve. So, yeah, the, there's this the uh, the one of the uh, slayers of men are actually is uh, there because there's actually two of these ones. But I love how his cloak dra drapes down and kind of gets all um, folded up on the bottom. And I like I like this pose. It looks pretty cool. Some viewers know that they he doesn't seem to have so much of a waist. That's actually if you notice. It's simply from the way gravity pulls these cloaks down that's going to cover over any waist shape. But yeah, the helmet is cool and the detail is quite crisp. It's coming up pretty well on camera, but it looks even better in real life. And then here's the Witch King. And once again, absolutely amazing detail on the cloak. Just absolutely amazing. So these were actually sculpted by Keith, and yeah, the, the cloak he's done is amazing. I think he used a uh, clay sculpting instead of digital for these guys, same as he did with Dane Ironfoot, and none of the guys disappoint with the uh, Forge World sculpts, none of them. Definitely not Keith. I've, I'm quite, I think these guys are quite excellent sculpts and just not don't really see any reason to be upset with them. The armor is crisp. The detail is amazing. I like the uh, the fact that you'll be that these guys are actually in there more uh, ready to fight pose and not in the main battle. So that was another thing. Some people have been controversial. Contro there's been some controversy about, and I actually like how it looks. So yeah, just the chain mail on this is amazing. I've never seen chain mail sculpted quite this way before. It'll show up. It's really cool how, how he's done the sculpting of the chainmail. Then the, the armor looks really good too. Once again, crisp. Dark Headsman's cloak is once again good with the others. This one falls a little straighter than the others, I think. Yeah, Dark Headsman might fall. Uh, yeah, I actually would say this is the straightest of the cloaks. And then the helmet with this guy is absolutely amazing if it'll focus. Well, it's amazing whether my camera focuses or not, but I'd prefer if it focuses because that way you guys can see it. So yeah, I like how they have the uh, the square like scale mail on these with the helm and just the way the helmet looks and the pose is really cool looking. So yeah, those are the Nazgul of Dolgador. The Dark Headsman, Pack 1, the Dark Headsman, the Witch King, and, I'm sorry, the Dark Headsman, the Witch King, and the Slayer of Men. So yeah, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Support your Hobbit hobby, and Akman Ruki Astu. Thank you.